Welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at Everspace 2 demo. So let's just start the game and go from here. And I see that only gives us very easy, easy and normal level. So let's try the normal level and see where we start off. Okay, some interesting things showing up on the intro video so far. Approaching extraction area. All miners stay in formation. Wingman, you take up the rear. Understood. Interesting. Okay, well, tab was supposed to close. Okay, why? In the top left is the red bar. Okay, so W and S to accelerate and deaccelerate. Scrap! What's wrong? Boosts are jammed. Could use a push. Hey, Ben, we've got a clunker back here. Got it. Let's meet near his ship. What's going on with it? No problem. I can fix it. There you go. Just a few adjustments and as good as new. Thanks, Ben. I'm nearly out of nanobots. Say, how's your ship holding up? Just the usual wear and tear. Don't tell me you want to run another mobility check. Can't risk you breaking down in the middle of a fight, can I? All right, knock yourself out. First, show me two healthy strafes, left and right. There. And there. What about your hover thrusts? <laughs> I can so hear your smile. Isn't it nice to have someone who cares for a change? Nice and left now control some rolls. up and down. One. Two. Finally, I need one last strafe with a boost to the right. Okay, so... As slinky rocket dodges go, I'd give you a four out of nine. Yeah, you're in good enough shape for the junk pile you're floating. Try telling that to Callahan. I bet ten creds that if we don't catch up, he'll threaten to remove this ship from our tally. Nah, he's a jerk, but not that bad. I'll take that bet. Let's not keep him waiting then. Just eight more shifts. Okay, so shift is boost. Yep. Eden 12 it is. Ridiculous name, but just can't say no to those terraformed lakes. I can't imagine what it'd be like to finally be out. It'll be plasma gin and sunsets, my friend. After the grind we've been through, that's the least we deserve. Let's try the... Okay. So turbo boost is F. How do I stop it? Well, if it isn't our two slackers. Five seconds longer and I would have removed this shift from your tally. What's the situation? There's a Hydra infestation clogging up the entrance. And since you're the one that gets paid for handling these things, I thought I'd be so kind as to let you earn your creds. I'm on it. secure a path to the core. The engineer will follow with some distance in case anything needs fixing. How much distance? Enough to make a U-turn should he run into trouble. The rest will wait outside with me until I give the signal. All right, I'm going in. OK, 
Okay, so I take it I need to keep an eye open for these Hydra things or whatever they are. Ah, nice rotating. It allows you to shift your view around and your sense of up and down. Okay, there's a couple more Hydras. Looks like the last shift never left. Yeah, well, there's ships drifting around over there, so let's keep on moving in. Plenty of these hydro floating around here. I see they highlight when you move over them. I uh, wonder if you can use that as... Okay, there's a biomass. What is this? Okay, F to pull. Let's just level out and see if we can squeeze past here. Okay, so it only highlights to a certain distance. Not picking up the ones that are far down. That one, those ones we need to pick up by sight by the looks of it. Doesn't seem too difficult at the moment. It's ah, wreckage over there. Lots of dead outlaws and miners in here. Yeah, and since the Hydras had time to spread, but haven't devoured them yet, I'd say they killed each other less than 48 hours ago. Scrap. Might want to consider that U-turn. Some of the outlaws may still be alive. Forget Callahan. I can take care of myself. Very chatty bunch over here. Okay, so it looks like if you're within a certain distance. Okay, there we are. We can search and we can transfer all. So there seems to be a, a range on the, uh, on the search function. Okay, so holding down F does the transfer all. Reach the core. Where is the core? Okay, I'm assuming that must be the core over there. Okay, well, I seem to have got whatever I need over here. The entrance to the core is blown. Try using your missiles. Okay, let me give a little bit of distance. Whoever sent that might still be in there. We'll see. This is going to be a very tight squeeze. Makes it through. It's oh, some stuff must have come out of that ship that I just blew up. Let's go and grab it first. Either that or I missed this ship the first run through. But I was right up against it, so how would I have missed it? 
Okay, well let's get back in let's get back into the tunnel and go and see what what we can do over here. Okay, I'm assuming I need to get close to us. If to heck. Wait here until I've had a look inside. Please be careful. Too much that I can see here. Or well, nothing visible yet. Everyone, the risk meter just went way up. There were outlaws here, and maybe more are on their way. So what? We've still got an armed escort outside. They could be here any minute. All the more reason to work fast. Let's do this, people. Those crystals won't mind themselves. Ben, that outlaw was from Bloodstar, not just some low-level grunt. He even had a custom-built coil gun. I'll keep an eye on the main shaft, and I'm gonna hold on to the coil gun. Let's hope we won't need it. Equip the coil gun, okay. Keep an eye on the miners. I don't want any crystals to end up in the wrong pockets. Hey, what's with the shaking? Could be the Bloodstar guys' rescue squad. And if they spotted our escort outside, they won't just come in with medics. Son of a lizard. All right, want everyone to stay calm and clear of the walls. I got this. Time to earn my creds. Okay, it looks like six. Jeez, you hear? Scrap, more miners. They got here first. Don't worry. More ransom booty to line our pockets. Let's reel them in. Yeah, Keep moving, everyone. Two more. I'll lock onto them and let my missiles do the rest. Trigger's ready for action. Only one left. Oh, flying into the wall like that doesn't help, bud. That's it. Everyone all right? We're okay. Pal, take my last nanobots. You'll need them. My sensors are lighting up. There's more of them coming down the main shaft. Let's take the fast lane and bust through that drill. Okay, if they're trying to do a duck, where are they going? Come on. That patrol better be doing their job out there. And let's get out over here and see what the hell is going on over here. Let's go down. Ooh, lots and lots of fighting. <laughs> And I take it that was just the intro. That was actually not not bad at all. They're slaughtering the escort. Very interesting. God, damn it! You all try to slip past. I'll keep them busy. Oh, that's one left over there. Okay. So it's not too difficult. It's pretty much standard. Pretty much standard uh, uh, keyboard controls. Oh shit! Somebody hit me. More of them. 
So it's just a, the biggest difficulty here is actually putting, drawing a bead on them because they weave around so much. I take it these ones off. There we are, not too bad. Where's the rest? Okay, down somewhere. Whoopsie. Overheating. I can't jump. You'll fix it. See you back at base. Hey, you can't just leave me here. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. How long till you can jump again? Engine's too hot. First, it needs to cool down. I'll buy you some time. I don't know why you need to actually jump here. These guys, these guys don't seem to be particularly good just the number of them that's the problem. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem to give you any way to just lock on. And because, because specific ta target. No, still heating up. Oh scrap. Scrap 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 scrap. What's happening? The engine's burning and now the fire's moving all the way up to the cockpit. Use the extinguisher, reduce oxygen. You got this. I got this. I got this. Just a little bit of ducking and diving. Ben, I'm coming. Okay, why the heck is my booster not running? Actually, refuses to allow me to to boost towards it. Systems are down. Okay, so that was some type of script to the counter. I take it this is still part and parcel of the. This must still be part and parcel of the, of, of, of the intro. <laughs> You're wasting your energy. We're locked in by a force field. Just sit tight and make the best of it. Looks like they threw you quite a welcome party. I've been here for quite a while already. Just a regular checkup on what I might know. Where did they grab you? Your outfit looks like GMB work crew. You guessed it. These jerks here got no style. Bunch of amateurs. They'll be looking to get the best price for you. So given your professional opinion, you know a lot about outlaws. Hell, I know a lot more than they'll ever get from me. You hear me? If it ain't Gas Mask, so where's your boss? Things have changed, Basha. And because your soulmate here killed the chief, I am now in command. Did he now? And for your insults, I will make certain you suffer like never before. Where's my friend, Corbin Grendel? He's in the med bay, for now. Maybe you'll live long enough to fetch ransom. Your DNA scans show that you're a military clone pilot. No wonder you bettered my predecessor. I wonder what your face value is. What if I broadcast your profile? That would be a bad idea. You may not like who will come looking for me. Why would I heed advice from a clone? Interesting. Station is under attack! And the turrets! Friends of yours? Yeah, the kind you want me dead. Power outage. The force field is down. 
This is our chance. Let's try to pry the door open. Help me, grab the door. Distracted. This way to the hangar. Wait, I'm not leaving without my friend. Don't be an idiot. He's a dead man. Okay, get your friend, but hurry. Hey, Ben. Uh, huh? What's happening? It's our chance to get out of here. Come on. <coughs> Forget it, man. I'm done for. I told you I'm getting you out of here. Over here. Thanks for waiting. My pleasure. I might have more luck with a clone pilot at my side. You know. Right. The military clone thing. Shooting scrap is in your genes. You can't destroy a suppressor. Fly close and hack in. That's the way to go. I know. It's down. Jumping is still suppressed. My sensors detect two more. Let's find them and get out. Just stay out of view of that cruiser. I've gotta get away. Okay, so ben, far. You okay back there? I don't know, man. Ooh. Not feeling so good. I'm getting us out of here, I promise. Okay, so far the thing seems to be very story driven. So blue seems to be power, red seems to be health. And there's something there next to those two bars, I wonder if that's experience. I need to sneak around here, try and take out these turrets. What are these? I see him. Oh, what is used to see me? Okay, now where is that thing? I just there's one right here. Okay, I seem to have, there seems to be some type of... Okay, I'm assuming there must be some type of weapon, yeah. Okay, let's get this one down quickly. Thank you. 
Okay, one down. more lift. Okay, what's in this? The fleet has no jurisdiction here. This is our last warning. Scans are being initiated on all units. Harboring a military clone is a violation against the peace treaty. Hand him over. We will find him either way. It's you they're after? I told the gas mask not to broadcast my profile. Let's finish this and get the hell out. Fully charge your UTL. UTL are special abilities that can be activated to unleash a mighty offensive or defensive power. They're usually charged by shooting down enemies and having to use their down enemies and have to be used to be able to charge again. Okay, so then I'm assuming then I'm assuming that must be what is there on the top next to my blue and red bar up at the top left. There we are. I've identified you, Mr. Roslin. I'd suggest you submit your Sentinel without struggle. Hold on tight, pal. We're about to enter Superlight. Oh, man. Leave, lo leave location by holding C. Okay, so that must be Hyper Jump. Uh, you okay, Ben? Damn, he passed out. They're tracking us. You need to disconnect your nav now. Can't fly blind. Do it. Okay, display's wiped. Now what? I'll give you some cords. One sec. There. See that sweet shiny marker? That's our way out. I've seen clones fight before, but damn! Not your first dance. You're a goddamn prima ballerina. What's your name, pal? It's Adam. And that's Ben in the back. He really needs a medic. The only medics out here work for GMB, and that's not where you want to be right now. Not with a fleet warrant on your head. Man, we were one foot out of the DMZ. Don't tell me. You had one of those GMB pension plans. It's called a Lionel Grady retirement scheme. Well, it's still a plan. And plans are for fools, my friend. I'm Dax, by the way. Let's get your friend into stasis at my old hideout. That'll give you some time to figure out how to save his life. Guess it's the only choice I have. Okay, so there's an even higher level above this. And it's it to turn off autopilot. What is that over there? Sitting above the cloud. Okay, there's got to be a better way. To, there's got to be a better way to uh, to lock onto a planet. Let's take a look. You must be a map. Oh, set waypoint. Okay, let's try this now again. Any way to slow down here? Yeah. Okay, there we are. Okay, so you've got a lock on to get a decent, decent movement across over there. So far, it seems very story driven. It's been a while. Let's hope that the old rust pile hasn't fallen apart. Okay, I don't see anything here, so I'm assuming it must be over the top. Okay, what's this? That's nice. So it's an easy way to do mining. Okay, well, let's go and see what this place is. 
Okay, it's clearly not this because the. Okay, it must be. The Shane 500 meters away. Hey, buddy, we're here. Oh man, you look bad. Ben's not responding. We need to do something now. There's a med bay, but we need to get to the control room first. So this is your hideout. This place looks huge. An old military post, founded decommissioned after the war. I laid low here for a few years after the DMZ was established. Here we are. Yeah, worse than I thought. Problem with the main reactor. It'll only hold us on basic for a while. How about the med bay? The cryopod can run on backup power, but no chance of getting the medical facilities running. All we can do for now is put your friend in deep freeze until we can get the reactor back up. I want to get him in there as soon as possible. All right. Careful now. In order to fix the main reactor, we'll need parts. I can help you with that. Good. I'll give you a shopping list then. <laughs> you know, this place ain't so bad. We just used it to lay low for a while, really. But I guess you could say we had some good times here. So you weren't alone. Here's the cryo. Yeah, looks like it's working all right. Sweet dreams, buddy. Well, that's done. Now let's get the reactor running. I feel like you're not telling me something about this place. What were you hiding from? What happened to your colleagues? Yeah, I knew you'd start asking questions if I brought you here. Look, I took a gamble on you. Why don't you take a gamble on me now? Trust a little. I'll stay on comms and fill you in on what you need to know. A lot of stuff needs fixing. But we're still good on resources to patch up our ships or refill our ammo should things go south. There's also some space in the storage unit, so feel free to dump your cargo whenever it's getting cramped in that Sentinel. Here's a list of what we need to fix the reactor. Scrap metal, a cooling unit, all pretty straightforward. The cooling unit could be a problem. Check out that nearby debris field. That's your best shot at finding one. By the way, I took the liberty of installing two devices into your ship. An EMP generator and an energized boost. Not sure how I feel about you messing around inside my ship. Yeah, well, let me know how you feel once one of them saves your life. Okay, you have acquired your first device. Warfare devices are vital tools for handling tough en enemies or large groups. We support devices will help a pilot to survive longer. Some devices will need a target that is in range to function. Others can be activated in any situation. Devices can be upgraded with upgrade tokens that are received at, at level ups. Once a device reaches level 5, the device is mastered and its device modes are unlocked. With device modes, you can tune the device to your liking, maybe even find and exploit synergies between them. Equip devices in the ship menu, experiment with different devices and modes and find the right mix to match your playing style. Okay, that was a long ass uh, intro, but this seems to be very story driven. So let's take a look here. Storage. Okay, I've got nothing in my storage currently. Yeah, see, I've got a bunch of empty slots over here. Okay, so I need to find scrap metal, find cooling unit, find and collect atheum. Where's those crystals that I picked up? I blew something up and I picked up something, but it's not in my craft anymore. Oh, there they're sitting over there. And the crafting. Okay, so I can create a crafting kit. What do I actually need here? I need... Now it's a cooling unit. Okay, inventory, not too much. Okay, 
Okay, can I customize? You can freely customize your ship and store up to four individual styles that are saved per ship. Note that you can only downgrade wings. You cannot use higher tier wings on a ship of a lower, lower tier. Okay, so I need to find and unlock the colors in that. Decals. Renown or side missions. Engine colors. Completing master challenges. Okay, so that's clearly not too much use currently. Okay, so there's not too much on the current map. I've got six planets wandering around here. And the mission, okay, so basically that was the startup mission. These were the two basic intro missions and this one is the finding metal. Daughter. Okay, let's not go into deep in this over here. So what we're going to do is let's go and see if we can find some of this stuff, some of this stuff quickly. Okay, this. Okay, that looks like those ones that we that we um, harvested the earlier. What's this? Ooh, auto cannon doesn't use energy. I like. Okay, we've got enough anthium. So, okay, there's something over there. I reckon GMB didn't know you were a clone. No, just eight more shifts and they would have paid me a ticket to Eden 12. Eden 12, huh? That's one ridiculous name. They have lakes there? Cool. I dig lakes. When I was a kid, my old man used to take me kayaking almost every day. That was on Byron 4, just before the whole place went to hell. What's kayaking? Hey, there's some iron. There's a cargo unit. You serious? Scrap, we've got a visitor. Leave him to me. Hey, before we do that, there's a cargo slot up there. Maybe a good time to pop that gift bag and try one of your new devices. In the meantime, I'll lock the front door, just in case. Okay, I'll look at the cargo lot as soon as I finish sorting these lot out. You know, two basic types of damage, kinetic and energy. While shields are affected solely by energy damage, armor can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Once the shield is down, the armor, armor destroyed, both types of damage will decimate the hull. Usually a weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which value is higher, you'll want to use different weapons in different situations. Ooh. Oh, these drones seem to seem to work pretty well on this auto cap. Even even when he's got Ooh, this is a slippery bugger. Okay, got to use buggers. Alone again. He must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. So about kayaking. Kayak King. Best thing ever. Say, they never told us soldier grunts how you clones worked. But I heard they gave you guys fake memory fragments to keep you motivated while fighting. If kayaking isn't in there, someone clearly didn't do their job. My memories are fragmented, but not fake. They're a mix of random experiences taken from my clone father's life and every incarnation that came before me. All passed on from clone to clone. So they ended up with me. Holy! So you're some kind of body hopping immortal soul? Well, not anymore. The cycle was broken. So this time when I die, I'm done. You know what I would do if I were you? No, what? Not croak before I've been kayaking. <laughs> I really mean it. 
If I ever get the chance, I will. More outlaws. Make sure that the area is clear before you head back. Don't want word of our activities here to get around. Hey, Knockroach was right. We've got new neighbors. Let's give them the tour. traffic around here. Yeah, something must have happened to our cloaking system. Any luck with those resources yet? I'm still on it. Oh, there's a cooling unit. So basically, I just need a couple of um, scrap metal saw, and then I can complete this quest. Guys are very chatty here. I wonder if you can get... Okay, two more scrap metal. That's all I need. Checked off everything on the list. Great. Now bring the parts so we can give that reactor a whirl. I wonder if you could lock in an autopilot to here. Okay, so it's auto landing, you just gotta fly in and it'll land itself. Okay, another story intro section by the looks of it. And I think this has actually been quite a long intro. What happened there? Not answering me. No time for a nap, pal. Just, uh, blacked out for a moment. Not sure what that was. Blacked out? Anything I should be concerned about? It sounds serious. No, no, uh, nothing of the sort. It's just, um, memory loop. Or, I don't know. I haven't had them for a while. A clone thing, huh? I think I heard something about that once. If it happens again, I want to know about it. We might need you to get examined. But for now, let's focus on our current needs. And the base. Okay, let's just do a restock here. Uh... And... Okay, repair is fine. What are these perks? Each companion comes with their own set of perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Unlocking is done by fulfilling the requirements. Sometimes you will just need to provide this, some simple resources. Other times you're also asked to accomplish certain tasks. Note that all resources you are investing in a perk cannot be retrieved. So always think about when and how much to invest. Okay, well this is the reactor that we were going I was getting all the stuff from. So let's just dump it into dump it into the reactor. Ha! It worked! Never thought I'd miss this shabby place. Those Bloodstar idiots had me locked up for ages. What do they want from you? Well, what they want from everyone, credits and information. Unfortunately for them, I don't share with outlaws. Anyway. This is where we're at right now. We've got lights, climate control, and access to scans of our vicinity. Can the scans help me navigate super light again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. We can't reconnect our navs, or the fleet would immediately locate our asses. But with these scans... Here, have a look. Cedo outer rim, Rhodia orbit, and 
Union Bridge? That's as far as we can scan? It's far enough for now, at least what we need to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations, and keep an eye out for little devices we like to call beanies. Beanies? That's short for beanbags. They're small DIY signal distractors, and used to keep this base off enemy radars. But obviously they don't anymore. Sounds like a job for Ben. You need an engineer on this, not me. Why don't we focus on getting him fixed first? No time. We're lit like a bonfire. If we don't figure out what's wrong with the distractors now, we won't live long enough to save Ben. Tend to the beanies and make us vanish. That'll give us time to figure out what to do with your friend. Hey, let's just take a look at the data. Okay, so basically a strange story so far. A couple of things along here. Perks. Uh, okay. I'm not too certain about that, but what I do think we need to do is call this a video at this stage. This was quite a long introduction to the game, and this uh, and this um, game seems to very be very story driven. So I don't want to get into a section where it's going to take a, quite a while to go. So I think at this point I'm going to call this a video. If you enjoyed what you liked, then please please leave a like, comment, or share the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.